In a French high school, Raphael spends his time in class working on his sci-fi book instead of paying attention to teachers, which often gets him in trouble. He's been working on this book for three years, and the protagonist Raphael's self-insert. His best friend and ping-pong partner Felix is supportive of Raphael's dream even if he isn't allowed to read the book yet, although he always points out that the protagonist needs a good love interest for the story to work. One evening after class, Raphael hears a beautiful song and follows into one of the school's many abandoned rooms. There, he finds fellow student Olivia playing the piano with admirable skill. However she stops playing when she notices Raphael because this is supposed to be her secret spot. Raphael apologizes and compliments her piano skills as he steps back, accidentally pushing over a statue and activating the room's alarm. Olivia wastes no time and drags Raphael with her to run out of the building before they're found, and what begins as panic soon becomes laughing at these shenanigans. When they reach a bench outside, the pair exchanges names and shakes hands, and it's at that moment that Raphael realizes Olivia is the perfect love interest for his story and himself as well. Afterward, they fall asleep together on the bench. The next day, Raphael's in an awful mood because he realizes he's lost his notebook, and now he'll have to rewrite everything from scratch. Fortunately Olivia found it in the piano room and brings it to Raphael while admitting she read it all and really liked it. After some friendly chatting, the two of them kiss to start their new relationship. Raphael and Oliva get along extremely well and their dates together are lots of fun, going from experiencing new kinds of food to carving their names on the bench where they fell asleep together. Olivia is very supportive of Raphael's writing and helps him come up with ideas, she's also the one that gets to read everything first. They go to college together, and every Sunday they visit Olivia's grandmother Gabrielle, who gives Raphael her beloved ring so he can propose to Olivia. Olivia of course accepts, and the wedding goes wonderfully. The married couple moves to their own apartment with the help of Felix and his girlfriend Morgan, and every day Olivia makes dinner for Raphael by making cute and funny shapes on his plate. Raphael surprises Olivia with a small piano of her own, and now she can practice at home more often while he writes. Olivia starts entering music competitions and small local concerts to build up her career as a musician, Raphael always makes sure to go see her shows every time. When Raphael finishes his book, Olivia likes it so much that she sends it to a publisher without him knowing. This turns out to be a great idea because it gets Raphael a publication contract, and he hires Felix as his manager. Soon Raphael becomes very famous, and while at first this is great because it gives them things like a bigger apartment, soon the mood at home becomes very tense. Raphael is always busy at some party or interview and he's almost never around, leaving Olivia's cute meals abandoned on the table. To make matters worse, he starts missing Olivia's concerts and he doesn't even mention her when he talks about the writing process he went through in interviews. All this stress and sorrow deeply affect Olivia's performances, and when she begins losing competitions, she gives up her dream and becomes a music teacher. One evening, Raphael comes late, but he barely says a word to Olivia before sitting down to finish his next book. The hero must choose between his girlfriend and the world and he chooses the world, letting the bad guys kill the love of his life. Olivia points out that this time, Raphael hasn't allowed her to read anything, unlike the old times. Raphael tells her he isn't in the mood for an argument because tomorrow he has to discuss the movie deal and visit a school, and when he accuses Olivia of nagging, she finally snaps. She's tired of eating alone and Raphael constantly ignoring her, it's time to admit their relationship isn't going well and that she's unhappy. Shocked, Raphael wonders if she doesn't love him anymore, and Olivia confesses she isn't sure, causing Raphael to stomp out of the apartment and go drink at a bar. Still attached to her old tradition, Olivia reads Raphael's new story as it starts to snow outside, and she is incredibly hurt when she sees the love interest dies. Raphael comes back late in the night, and neither of them says a word before falling asleep. The next morning, Raphael oversleeps, so when he wakes up he hurries out of the apartment to get to work without noticing the apartment has changed and assuming Olivia is avoiding him. Felix is waiting at the door for him as usual, but instead of his fancy car, he's brought an old scooter. Raphael blames it on Felix's weirdness and they leave on the scooter to reach the school where Raphael will be talking to some fans, but things just keep getting weird, a random teacher calls him Raph as if she knew him, and Felix leaves him in the classroom alone. When Raphael approaches the kids in class, he lets them ask any question they want, but they only have comments about their homework. Raphael is starting to think this may be a prank by the journalists, and after checking a mirror for hidden cameras, he decides to leave because he isn't in the mood for this. Next he goes to his publishing company for a meeting about the movie adaptation of his book, but nobody recognizes him there. Raphael thinks they're pranking him too and begins losing his temper, so he's kicked out of the building. As soon as he hits the streets, Raphael is shocked to see a sign on a bus promoting Olivia's next concert in one of the most important theaters in the city. Raphael goes to that theater to see what's going on and finds a group of fans waiting for Olivia to come out, apparently she's this big piano star and as far as her fans and journalists everyone knows, she's still single. When Olivia finally shows up, she signs autographs for everyone and asks Raphael his name to give him one too, because she clearly doesn't recognize him. Still utterly confused, Raphael returns to his apartment and finally notices everything is different. Olivia's belongings aren't there, and there's nothing fancy about it either. 
Raphael's notebook shows his story isn't complete, and Googling himself doesn't produce any results about fame. He does find his profile on social media and dating sites, which show him he works as a literature teacher. Googling Olivia does give him better results, she's indeed a very successful star and everyone is crazy about her. His search is suddenly interrupted by a video call from Felix, who wants to chat about the crazy party they went to last night, apparently partying and picking up random women is something they do a lot. Before Raphael can question what exactly is going on, someone rings the bell, it's Melanie, the teacher he saw earlier. She enters the apartment as if Raphael was supposed to be expecting her, she also brings food and a hunger for something hotter than dinner. Raphael panics and hides in the bathroom to buy time, and when he decides to take a shower, he notices he has a tattoo on his chest that wasn't there before, it says ping because Felix has pong to mark them as a ping pong team. The next morning, Raphael looks for Felix and tells him the only explanation that he can think of, he's arrived in a parallel universe where he has a totally different life. Felix obviously doesn't believe him, so Raphael has no choice but to teach his class for the rest of the day. After work, Raphael tries to explain things to Felix again, but he's still not taken seriously, thus he asks his friend to summarize his life for him while pretending he has amnesia. Felix tells Raphael that he's a literature teacher, that his students love his classes, that they still play ping pong tournaments together, and they don't share a place because Raphael likes to bring different girls over all the time. In Raphael's eyes, this sucks because of how different things are, but he can't help wondering if Olivia is also trapped. In the evening, Raphael sneaks into a fancy party at the theater by pretending to be a waiter. When he approaches Olivia, she asks him for some food, so he brings it to her and is delighted to be called by his name. Unfortunately this is a false alarm, Olivia remembers him from the signing the day before, not from another life. Raphael takes a shot and admits he's not a waiter, he just wanted to have the honor to talk to her, which Olivia considers very sweet. But before Raphael can say more, Olivia is called over for some work stuff. On the weekend, Felix takes Raphael to a ping pong competition. Raphael hasn't played since high school and is an absolute disaster, causing them to lose the match. Ironically this is what finally convinces Felix the parallel universe story is true since his Raphael is an excellent player. Then Felix begins mentioning examples of time traveling and alternate universes in fiction and points out there always is a conflict that initiates the transition, so Raphael begins telling him all about the night of their argument. Considering they had never fought before, Raphael assumes the argument triggered this craziness and to solve it he needs to make Olivia love him again. At first he thinks it would be easy because he knows everything about Olivia, but then he realizes her tastes may have changed in this life. Raphael starts by visiting Gabrielle on Sunday. Gabrielle swears she recognizes him, but soon Raphael catches on and understands in this universe she has memory trouble, so she's just playing along, she also still has her special ring. When Olivia arrives, she's shocked to see a man without authorization bothering her grandmother, causing Raphael to pretend he's volunteering to read for the elderly in the nursing home before leaving the room to give them some privacy. Olivia considers calling the director to check if Raphael's story is true, but she's shocked to hear Gabrielle remembering her name thus when she mentions she remembers the guy too, Olivia takes it as proof the story's real. Once her visit is over, Olivia finds Raphael outside pretending to read to another elderly man. He drops the book as soon as he sees Olivia so he can walk with her and do some chit-chatting, he also buys her what he believes to be her favorite coffee and snack, but in this universe, she hates the type he chooses. At least they get to talk, and Raphael learns Gabrielle has become obsessed with reading biographies. Raphael thinks Olivia, being the star that she is, should have won about her life and offers to write it himself, but Olivia isn't interested. For his next attempt, Raphael gets his best friend's help. Felix changes his name and calls Olivia's agent while pretending to be Raphael's agent offering a big deal to write Olivia's biography. The guy finds Felix to be hilarious and agrees for Raphael to meet with Olivia to discuss the matter. Raphael gets very excited and the following night, he goes to Olivia's apartment with her favorite flowers in hand, luckily this time he does nail Olivia's taste. Sadly he soon gets his hopes shattered when he is introduced to Mark, who is both Olivia's boyfriend and agent, because this is supposed to be a business meeting. Raphael wants to kill Felix for the misunderstanding but for now he goes to the bathroom and calls him to ask him to come too after lying to Olivia and Mark by telling them Felix was just a little late. Moments later, the four of them are having a pleasant yet a bit awkward dinner, and Raphael has lots of trouble stopping his jealousy from making him do faces every time Olivia and Mark are sweet with each other. After dinner, Olivia goes to the garden to have some fresh air, and when Raphael joins her, he discovers she's actually smoking in secret because Mark hates it. Olivia also confesses that since she's so young, she feels like writing her biography already would be too pretentious, so Raphael decides to respect her wishes and drop the subject for now. When Mark comes to tell them Desert is ready, Rap he doesn't tell him about the smoking, and Olivia is so impressed by all the respect he's been showing that she decides maybe she should give the biography a chance after all. The next day, Raphael and Olivia meet at a cafe to start the first interview for the biography. 
Raphael only pretends to have brought questions and to take note of Olivia's answers because he already knows all her childhood anecdotes, but he still has a great time because it's like relieving their first dates. Hours later when they're leaving, Raphael sees Melanie approaching and tells Olivia she's an ex he can't get rid of, so in order to help, Olivia tells Melanie that she's dating Raphael now. The trick works and Melanie finally gives up on Raphael for good. When Raphael explains he knew Melanie from school, the subject of education comes up and Olivia's surprised to hear they used to go to the same high school during the same years because she doesn't remember him at all. Hoping to recreate the magic of the night they met, Raphael takes Olivia to their old school and tries to get her in the abandoned piano room, but the door is locked. Unwilling to give up yet, Raphael tries to break the padlock with a fire extinguisher, and this gets them in trouble with another teacher so just like it happened in their youth, the pair has to run away. Not everything goes exactly the same though, when Raphael takes her to the bench outside, it's taken by a vagabond. For their next biography meeting, Olivia takes Raphael to the places where she won her first prizes and had her first shows. When they're done, Raphael tries to schedule their next meeting, but Olivia tells him he'll have to wait because she's leaving for a few days to have a little vacation near the coast. Raphael wonders if he could come with her, but Olivia turns him down, explaining she does this every year to have some alone time. The following day, Raphael is delighted to get a text from Olivia saying she's changed her mind and that he can come, thus they take the train together. The vacation house she's renting turns out to be the place where they had their honeymoon in the other universe, so Raphael can't stop seeing flashbacks of his other life in every corner. They have a lot of fun together while relaxing through various activities like riding bicycles and playing the piano. Although Raphael is going through constant whiplash between present and past, this Olivia is sharing some childhood anecdotes he never knew about, but she also keeps playing the same song she played the night they met in the other universe. During dinner, Raphael feels brave enough to tell her the truth, but Olivia thinks he's pulling some kind of writer's joke. After laughing, she makes up her own little story of a parallel version of them, where they fight and cheat but in the end they mature and come together again. Once dinner is over, they decide to go skinny dipping in the sea, and Olivia allows herself to forget about Mark for a night to get frisky with Raphael. The next morning, Raphael wakes up alone, but there's a breakfast in a cute shape waiting for him. For a moment he thinks he's managed to fix reality, but then he notices the tattoo is still on his chest, meaning he's still in the parallel universe. Olivia is outside talking to Mark because of an emergency. Gabrielle has fallen and now Olivia must cut her vacation short. After she hangs up, she asks Raphael to keep last night a secret. With a broken heart, Raphael agrees, and when they take the train back, he has to watch how Mark picks up Olivia at the station as if nothing happened. Instead of going home, Raphael goes to see Felix to have a friendly ear to rant too. Olivia likes him again yet she chose Mark and Raphael keeps complaining because he has to go back to teaching and stupid ping pong. This makes Felix finally snap, because he's tired of hearing Raphael insult the life he's built here not to mention that at least he has Olivia as a friend. Felix doesn't even have that, in this universe, Morgan told him to leave her alone years ago and Felix respected that, so since then he's been putting all his feelings into letters he never sent. If Raphael won't appreciate having Felix and Olivia in his life, then Felix wants him out of his house. Not knowing what else to do now, Raphael pays Gabrielle a visit, only to discover she doesn't have her ring anymore. This can only mean one thing, so Raphael immediately calls Olivia, but she ignores his calls because she's currently being proposed to by Mark. She does see Raphael's name on the phone screen though, and that makes her hesitate before answering. Some hours later, Olivia and Raphael meet at the bench outside school, and Raphael notices the ring on Olivia's finger. She explains Mark has been with her a long time and wishes she had met Raphael earlier, and after she leaves, Raphael cries his heart out on the bench while pretending the carving is still there, he also goes to a bar to get drunk. Afterward, Raphael tries to accept this as his life now and works to get used to the school routine. Felix isn't talking to him, so as the last gesture in the name of friendship, Raphael takes all his letters to Morgan. One morning, Raphael's students discuss that the writer of a book is that world's god, so if they want someone to die, then they just die. This makes Raphael realizes something. It hadn't been the fight that triggered this universe jump, it had been him killing his own wife in his story. After retrieving his old notebook, Raphael begins working hard on his book again, but this time the hero sacrifices himself in the end to save his love interest. Once he's done, he prints it and takes it to the theater on Olivia's big night to ask for one last big favor, he wants her to read this story, and promises he'll never bother her again. Olivia accepts after hearing him say how important it is and tells him he can take Gabrielle's seat at the concert if he wants to watch it because her grandmother hasn't remembered to come in years. They seal the deal with a handshake. When Raphael goes back to the streets, he bumps into Felix and Morgan, who are together now thanks to Raphael's meddling. Felix couldn't be happier and forgives Raphael for everything to show his gratitude. Inside the theater, Olivia begins reading the story and this makes it snow like in the other life, which Raphael sees as a sign his plan is working. He rushes inside to watch the concert, unaware that the moment Olivia left the book behind to play, it stopped snowing as well. The concert then begins and Raphael can't believe what he's seeing. 
As memories of his years with Olivia flood his mind, he realizes she's never played the piano with this much passion and skill, which means he's been holding her back and she's obviously better without him. Crying, Raphael leaves the hall and sneaks into the dressing room to retrieve his book and only leaves a note behind saying loving Olivia is the most beautiful thing that's ever happened to him. When the concert is over, Olivia is hurt and disappointed to see the reserve seat is empty, the only one waiting for her is Mark's serious face. Outside the theater, Raphael throws his book in the trash, wondering what to do next. His thoughts are suddenly interrupted by Olivia, who has realized where her heart truly lies and has come looking for him to kiss him, a sign that she's choosing him over Mark. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.